Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has also released the Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 11 version 23H2 and Windows 11 version 22H2, KB5032190. And this is our first Patch Tuesday security update that is rolling out for the newly released version 23H2, which was this year's annual feature update. So um, after the update has been installed, which it will automatically, uh, because the, the uh, updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are automatic compulsory updates. So uh, once the update has been installed, if we head over to About Windows, for Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build is now bumped up to 22631.2715. And if you are still running version 22H2, everything stays exactly the same. The OS build just jumps up to 22621.2715. So you've got a single digit uh, difference there when it comes to the OS build after this update has been applied. Now, if we head back to Windows Update and our update history, as mentioned, the update 5032190 is rolling out for both versions of Windows 11. And obviously, um, like the Patch Tuesday updates do, it addresses security issues in the Windows 11 um, operating system. And this update rolled out on the 14th of November. Now, before we have a look at the security uh, issues, just to mention that if by now you hadn't seen the Moment 4 feature updates rolling out, or you only had received part of those updates, those should start rolling out now and becoming more widely available. I think most would have received the Moment 4 features, which included in total around about 150 new improvements and features that rolled out. And I did post a video on that update and I'll leave that down below because we've covered that quite in depth and went through some of the key highlights for Moment 4 and that video will be in the description. Now over and above that, um, this security update for uh, Windows 11 patches 29 vulnerabilities in total. So that's four more than Windows 10. And two of those are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So once again, an important security update rolling out. And the two critical vulnerabilities that have been addressed, exactly the same as Windows 10, that's an elevation of privilege and a remote code execution vulnerability. Now with the security side out of things, um, as mentioned, 29 vulnerabilities patched to critical. With the security side of things out of the way, this security update, like all the Patch Tuesday security updates, will include improvements from this update, 5031455. And this rolled out for both Windows 11 versions uh, near the end of October last month. So this was October's C release update for 2023. So all these improvements and fixes will be carried over into November 2023's uh, Patch Tuesday update 5032190, which I'm sure most of you would be aware of by now. Now, I posted a whole video on 5031455, and I'll leave that down below, but just to go through a couple of the key highlights. First of all, it adds the new system components. So if we head to our system page, and we scroll down till where we get system components. It adds this uh, system components page to the Windows 11 settings where you can see what apps are system components as the name implies and if you click on installed apps that takes you over to the installed apps list where you can see the other so-called normal apps that have been installed and I actually think that system components page in the settings is a nice move in the right direction. And then as mentioned previously, Copilot, which started rolling out with Moment 4, gets a new recent activity section. So if we just head over to that, you can see now that we've got this refresh and we've got this chat history. And the chat history recent activity section basically um, means now you can 
like very similar to what we get in the Web Copilot in Microsoft Edge with um, the Bing Chat Web Copilot. You can now see your chat history and they've also rolled out um, with that optional bug fix update late last month. So I think that's also a nice move in the right direction. Being able to check out your chat history and it also includes dynamic lighting improvements. Uh, it also brings regional changes, addresses two memory leaks. So that's a bit of a performance boost. Addresses an issue that affects dynamic lighting and fixes printing issues and a lot more. But as mentioned, that video will be down below in the description if you uh, and the description box if you would be interested. Now over and above that, um, we also get an update to the Windows 11 servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new. I'm rolling out with this first Patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 version 23H2 KB5032190. And as mentioned, the update is rolling out for both versions of Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.